Hey friends, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. I am here outside of the Mayfield Heights Goodwill. We're gonna go in here and see what we can find today. I'm on my way home from up north and I have a big tub here full of stuff that I pulled from the boots and that is because I am pulling all of my stuff out of the boots. It's sad, but it makes sense. Although I love being there, I love the people there, I love my aunt. Beth and I'm going to miss doing it with her um, but now that I'm full-time I really have to prioritize my time it's an hour away and when I'm there I have to work that's part of the contract so um, it's hard for me to get back again another time during the month to switch stuff out and everybody will tell you this if you have a booth you will only get what you put into it so you really have to work it in order to make money and being an hour away, I just can't get up there enough to do that. My aunt, on the other hand, is about five minutes from that location and she can get over there and she can judge stuff and switch stuff out. And uh, she is gonna do really well. And I'm glad that she's still there. And I'm not gonna disappear from there. It's a great place to shop. It's a great place to source. And I will continue to go there because I will go visit her and I will be able to do some shopping. So, and of course I'll take you with me when I go. I just won't have my own stuff there and I won't have to worry about going there a couple of times a month to work. If you have any questions about the booth, about a booth, about anything to do with my booth, your booth, um, feel free to email me right here. Um, I love to talk booth talk and I imagine I will have some sort of plans in the future that include uh, brick and mortar direct sales. Stay tuned to be determined. All right, let's go inside here and see if we can find anything here that we can sell on eBay or sell direct in a sale here on YouTube um, or sell on knickknacks, any one of those places. Let's go take a look. I found this cool top for $2. I don't know, it's neat. Just even to display. It's kind of cool. Thinking about that. Um, I have been down this aisle first. I have it all to myself. Um, not a lot going on through here. I have found some things that I'm actually going to put over in the toy section. These drums, I looked them up. They're not worth buying, but I'm going to put them over in the toys. And then I found this, which just looked like a beat up box, but it has three colognes in here. They're all new. That's what it looks like in there. But even looking this up on its own, it looks like they have some value. So not 100%, but I will share on screen, of course, what I think the value is. And if I'm going to pick them up, they are $12. <coughs> Notice there's some cards out here, too. At least the one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Come and look at this. Oh, he's like plastic. I thought he was carved wood. Aww. They're adorable. I might grab them. down here and movies and such the holiday shelves are pretty bare I'm assessing these guys since I'm right over here where I would leave them if I didn't want them and I think I want them <laughs> all right I came around the corner and I have to show you these horrible kind of funny right she's got the turkey by the neck and an axe these are Fitz and Floyd by the way 214 we make them 428 for the set I don't see any little chips or anything though 
They're in really great condition. Uh, I might have to get them. There's a couple listed. There's one sold, but it sold on auction for cheap, but there's a couple listed around $40. Over in electronics, and I saw this. I've never seen one of these before. I looked it up. It's an Ikea balloon, like, lamp, wall sconce. If you can find these cheap enough, it looks like they're worth about $20 a piece, unless you have, like, a bundle of them, you know, like, three different colors, and then you're looking at, like, possibly $80 to $100. Uh, this one's $4, four into... 18 or 20 doesn't make sense, but there were a couple more. I would pick them up. Looking through the metals, the metals. I'm gonna have to check out what that is. Everything yellow is half off today, so I'm looking at those tags. This caught my eye. Now, it's a party light. You can see the tag right there. It's $4.77, but check this out. You put three candles in it. Look at how dusty that is. Ew. But you put three candles in it, it hangs on the wall, and look at the light that would come through. These are not in the greatest condition, and it looks like there's, I don't know, nine or ten listed and only one sold. So we're not going to pick these up. I just wanted to show you how cool that looked. There's two of them, which makes it a little bit more appealing to grab, but not at that price. We can't, we can't do that. It's almost $10 to make probably, I don't know, 30 or 35 so I wanted to look at this looks like somebody made this it's very kind of brutalist I bet it had a tabletop or something on it plant stand I guess it could be a plant stand just like that right put the pot in there the right size pot ooh that's kind of cool do I want that for Less than two dollars. Somebody forged that themselves. Hmm. I might want that. We'll think on it. Oh, did you hear that? Cart just came out. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Not very many people out on Christmas Eve, so I kind of have the place to myself. And look at this. Nobody else is even over here. Ooh, those are fancy in there. See, she's confirming it. And the acrylics. Um, no. It's kind of wild. Heavy. It says Peacock. Picture product to remember. Coasters. Tiny little cups. Oh, are those postcards? Yeah. It's fancy. This is back here. Two little dishes. It is Beaumont Brothers Pottery. I don't know. It's not a good quality, though. I don't think it's a, got a mass appeal. It's that spongeware. There's a fondue, false scrap fondue in there. You might want to look that up. There's a clock in here. Hmm. Probably one of those Alta gifts. Some shadow in it. I might check that out. What's this bowl down here? That's pretty. That's a neat color. All right, we're leaving the false graph fondue set. It looks like it sells for about $20 to $24, and they have six something on it. This is interesting. This is an Alta um, piece, but it looks like somebody may have had their finger in there. <laughs> um, most of these are all glittery, and I don't do a lot of glitter on my shadow. So I like matte. 
So I'm going to pass on this. Somebody's going to be excited to find this, though. The guy with the cart is like, look, he's already gone. He had that cart cleared so quick. It's kind of impressive. He must have somewhere to be. Well, of course he does. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> he's hustling, though. All the carts are moved from here. I'm going to check these end caps out. That's Brins. Kind of has dead eyes. At the Barber's. Why do you have a candle at the Barber's? Oh, it does smell really good though. Really good. I don't know, I might have to take that for $1.91. <laughs> don't judge. I love my candles. What else we got in here? We got an elephant with a big broken ear. That's unfortunate. We got a Maradon plate that says gobble. All right. I guess we're going to check out the toy section since there's just random things in it. And then I'm going to go over and look at the figurines and such. What is this? There's bones in there. <gasps> Bones, curious bones. A building bone anza. Mm -hmm. That's clever. I have to look that up. Just because it's so clever. It's half off of 474. Alright, this is a bolo. Keep an eye out for this. This one is the original 1998 and it sold with free shipping for $75 complete now this one is missing its bottom so i think it's also missing a bunch of these little connectors it's supposed to have 43 pieces and i only counted 37 oh, but for two dollars should i pick it up hmm. i think i'm probably gonna leave it because it's not complete and the pieces are all very dirty which would require work. <laughs> but yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that one. There's also ones that glow. They're called glow bones. And they're worth a little bit. Um, the seltzer rate on those aren't great. The seltzer rate on an original box like that, probably good. I'm not going to be able to sell it for $75, even with free shipping, because it's not complete. And the box is completely ruined. Um, you know, the box is missing a bottom. Um, and is really unusable. If the box was in good condition, if all the pieces were there, yeah, that's a no-brainer. I'd be picking it up. Look at those big bubble things. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I see Ernie peeking out of there. Oh, sorry. Buzz, Tide Buzz, ultrasonic stain remover. They got 26 bucks on here. These are things to look up though, and I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, not worth anything like that. This one's overpriced. Let's check out the brown shelf over here. I saw her last time I was here. They're cute, I've seen these guys before. This is a home painted piece. Whoa. Somebody did a really nice job with this. Oh, it's chipped. Tempting though. What is this? This is cool. I see beetles back here. So this is a frame that's meant to look distressed. This is a brand new piece. Ashland, $20. They got five on it. It's cool though, I like the beetles. Both, both kinds. These kind of beetles and the singing beetles. I like them both. See a little turtle right here, he's hand carved. Oh, I thought he might have been a trinket box, but he's just a carved turtle. Gosh, that's tempting. Oh, I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. And handmade. Why does it have a hole there and a hole there? There's just one of them. Alright, we're gonna have to look that up to find out what it is. 
Looks like it may hold a tea light, right? Oh, they're adorable. I did really well with nativities this year. I think I sold every single one of them that I picked up. Keep an eye out for the Italian ones. I sold both on eBay for really good money. This is a neat piece with all the candles. What is going on here? And got his little bits covered. And he's got an amazing hat. He's half off. Oh man. We don't need him, Amy. We don't need him. I feel like we need him. <laughs> he's like, you're gonna be like 60 cents. He'll be a little surprise in somebody's package. <laughs> World's greatest mom. Look at her with her corn and her mushroom. See a little elephant back here. I love Las Vegas. This little tile here. It's got some chips. I see a little lady down here. Oh yeah, she's bisque. Somebody didn't take very much time on her face. Butter dish. I looked down here and I saw the funkiest duck. <laughs> Got cute and kitschy. Uh, it's me by Lefton. I've never seen him before. I got excited and I thought, oh my gosh, do we have ourselves like another Mr. Toodles? <laughs> we don't. <laughs> um, I'll have to look in, on Worth Point and see if there's any listed, but there's one current listing, I think, on Etsy or Poshmark for like 23. He's 314. Oh, he's got a little chip on his tail. It's on the inside though. I don't know. He's super cute, right? I feel like we might have to. Came back around because another cart came out. There's nothing here for us. What's this? Woodchuck. We're gonna check that out because it's very cool. But look at this. I saw this right on the corner. That's a tiki cup with a fake plant in it. Tiki farm for $1.91. So yeah, we'll definitely grab that. I want to check out and see what this is though. Finally found some pottery, you guys. A couple of pieces up here for $1.14. Look at the glaze on that one. Isn't that gorgeous? It is signed. I don't know what that says. Lane or something? This one's also signed. Suki. I don't know, but they're coming with me for $1.14. I made great use of these two little pottery pieces in my charcuterie on Christmas. All right, I think I'm ready to leave out of here. I did not check out this little end cap. <laughs> Is that a blue Scooby down there? What's going on? <laughs> Maybe not Scooby. Oh, look at that. Looks like a little baby cookie monster. Gosh, I loved the Muppets. That was my jam growing up. The Muppet Show, Friday nights. This look like false graph. Maybe. It's a good color. Maybe not. No cobalt for mom. This is a cool blown glass piece. All the bubbles. I see a Mary in there. Some dolls. Oh, look at that cute bun bun. <laughs> Had a good time here today. Made some new friends. Um, I met Pia and Vicky and a nice gentleman who is looking for mugs because he has a mug collection and he gets all the mugs here from around the area um, restaurants. So he was telling me about his collection. It's pretty impressive. That looks like blue sky. What's in there? $12. We need to investigate this. 
new in the box. Let me get it out and see what it is. Well, it's pretty cool. It's got a base that you put the tea light in. And then this is a hand painted ball luminary with all these snowmen on it. They're adorable. A little moon on top. Sits down on there, lights up. So cute. All right, we're gonna take a look at this. Most of the other ones that are listed are just this ball. They don't have the base. This has the base. And what I noticed too is it can take a light, like a lamp light instead of a tea light. Cause look, it's got a cut out right there. How pretty would that be to make it a lamp? So yeah, we're gonna get this for $12. I think I'll list it since it's new. It looks like another one sold that was a Santa and a reindeer for like $60. So I imagine new in the box like this, I can list it for similar. So yay, we'll get that. It means we got two little light up things because I got that cute little Halloween one too. So, all right, now I think this will be it. <laughs> I spotted this sitting here as I was exiting. I love stuff like this that's in the box and easy to mail. Just ship it right out in another box. It's super simple. Keeps it safe. Look at how good I am with my left hand now. <laughs> three <laughs> it only took three years of a YouTube channel <laughs> to get me to be ambidextrous. I never did figure out what this is. It's gonna stay behind because it's not signed. But anybody do we think it's a tea light? I'm just not sure what that hole is back there. All right, I think this is what's going home with us. The Fitz and Floyd salt and pepper because they're just so weird. I picked this up while I was talking to um, Pia and it smells amazing. It's a candle, it's been burned, it looks like once or twice, but it's half off. So for $1.50, I will burn the rest of it I'm getting this candle here for $1.91 that's at the Barber's. It's weird, but it smells unbelievable. I'm getting this little kitty lamp. Great little hobbyist piece. They did such a cute job. And yeah, this little guy, I don't know why. Him and his little fancy loincloth are coming with us, but they're coming with us. <laughs> We just looked at this, we're getting this. I picked up this Pyrex, probably for me. Um, they got 25 on it, but it's that's the half off color, so it'd be 12.50. And it's completely sealed. It looks like I could sell this for about this, 25 or 30. But it's a cold pack, which is great for, you know, portable cold stuff. So mm, we may be keeping that. As far as the stuff down here, I think we're gonna go ahead and get the cologne. I think it's worth money. Pottery, the pot plant holder, the tiki mug. I do love this piece. I don't think it's old. I think it's meant to look old. I just think it looks great. Uh, but I don't need stuff for the booth anymore. So that may stay behind. This kitschy duck is coming with us for $3.14. And this bowl, I hemmed and hawed about this. I think this is a repro um, of another bowl that's made like this that should be signed. Um, I'll put that information up on screen. Okay. That big green fluffy thing was not part of the cup. So I put the big greenery thing back and I'm just getting the cup and I think this will do it oh I did pick up this but it's a gift those are actually socks and yeah that's it um, my total spend was $65 I got to use $5 off because I spent enough probably the last couple of times I was here 
So 65 and we'll probably make close to that back just on that blue sky piece. All right, everybody's packed in tight. Good to go. And we're going to get on the road. I think we're going to do pretty good on that cologne and the blue sky. So $65 spend, but I had a gift in there and the Pyrex, which I'll probably keep. And that was almost 20 of that 65. So not bad, right? I hope that you enjoyed this little trip and I appreciate you coming along. I will see you on the next one. Until then, please take care. See you next time.